Hey, my Craig. This is Miss Hamilton. Um, I'm here to talk to you about your day 17 instructions. So if you see that these instructions, there's always a reminder on here for you. So just remember to upload your um, assignments to Google Classroom that Ms. Stroud has for her class originally. And you can upload all of your assignments on there, English, math, social studies, um, all of them on there. Now, remember, if you are turning stuff into the school, please, please, please put your name on those so that we know whose is whose. Also, if you have any trouble with anything, have any questions, email us. That's what we're here for, okay? So, um, science, you're, you want to think about everyday life, okay? You want to give Mr. Reed two physical changes that could happen everyday life and two chemical changes that can happen in everyday life. And then he explains to you what physical change and chemical change means. Just for a reminder, English, one of the major events in the novel of To Kill a Mockingbird is the trial of the black man. So perhaps you hear people talk negatively, negatively or positively during jury duty. So what would you want to serve or would you want to serve on the jury? Okay, so talk about that. Talk about would you want to try and find a way to get out of jury duty? Um, you might kind of talk with your parents, see what they prefer. Talk, Just get some outside resources and then think about it on your own. Um, for math, you're going to try to find missing links for a triangle and distance between points okay, that are on a coordinate plane. And I'll kind of explain that in just a second once we get down to the math assignment. And now your economics, you're going to pretend like what you've been doing, record your daily records of how the coronavirus is affecting our economy and nation. So just record that into Google Docs or a Word document and submit all this onto the Google Classroom is what's easiest for us. But if you can't submit it on Google Classroom, we understand. Now, here's what the math looks like. So Pythagorean Theorem, we went over this in eighth grade. Um, so this is kind of a refresher. This will help you. You'll see this again in geometry next year. So Pythagorean Theorem is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. This is only used when you're having right triangles. Okay, so A and B are the legs. C is what's called the hypotenuse. C is always the diagonal. Okay, so C is always the longest length. So if you've got 5 and 12, 5 is A, 12 is B, square them. Kind of work the problem out. Add them together. Take the square root, and then the answer you'll find C after you take that square root. So you're going to be using this formula, and then you're also going to be seeing points, and the points you're going to create a triangle whenever you see the points, okay? So you've got 10 questions on this. Um, again, if you need some help, email me. Um, you can always, these points, draw them out, see what's easiest. Um, the hypotenuse is the biggest one and it's across from the right angle that that'll help you as well so this would be C okay so hopefully this helps you um, if you've got any questions guys again like I can't say it enough email us um, we miss y'all and hope y'all are staying safe bye